Who's doing it? Who wants it more? I hear footsteps. Oh, we got that mother and son again. They're running. She didn't acknowledge me. She was in the game. I get it. So today I figure we have a little fun and pretend my house burned down and I have no more cameras and which one would I buy? Or two? Three? All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. We do have a little side battle today just for the heck of it. GoPro 10 on your right. Olympus EM13 Mark 22 on your <laughs> That ain't even a thing. With the Laowa 7.5 mil. Seems like Olympus is wider. We're in linear plus horizon leveling. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, so pay attention to some stuff here today. Who has the dynamic range of a thunder horse? I imagine one of you. I want to test some GoPro color science with Cinematch later on. Well, let's just talk about what would I buy? Today, nothing. I come home, oh my god, ashes. In my travels to Thailand, I found the perfect combination for a YouTuber, at least my style of whatever freak show this is. One little action cam for the vlogs outside, and then a nicer thing for the studio. Just don't make that nicer thing a Panasonic G85 with a manual focus 50 mil. That hurt. That hurt the motivation to even want to make videos. Not gonna lie to you, it's a lot of white bags that I could use. Oh boy, and a mirror to multiply them. If you have a mirror, it looks like you have double the stuff you really have. So imagine all the white bags in your house. Oh, that is good times. So in today's day and age, the Sony X3000, still a contender, just kind of falling behind in usability. Not the, it actually, you just point and shoot and you're done. But if you ever want to switch to slow-mo, going through those menus is a pain. You do remember just how many it was like, menu, bam, bam ding bam bam like and then you're in slow-mo but it's been a long ass time since that thing was relevant and if it was me starting today you got the gopro 10 dji action one those are the two that i would debate between do i want to spend the extra money for the gopro 10 i think i would i think i would it's fun to have budget gear super old that still beats your stuff and you're having success on youtube and you're using the crappiest gear i'm like what, you, you bought a Sony a7S III for that? You only have 400 views, though. Oh. Oh, the YouTube game, that hurts. Don't pay attention to the views. I used to be getting like 2.7 million views a month, and then it dropped down. At times, I get like 600,000, maybe. It's like, oh, I thought you get better and better. It's embarrassing to be me, but don't pay attention to those views. Just do it for the love, and you'll never go wrong. It was the better stabilization. Side by side, you probably don't notice. Go to the GoPro just for what it should be. This is how stable could be in your house. Imagine that. Good. And then you switch to the Olympus. If I walk, you notice the warpy stuff on this lens, even though digital stabe is on. If this was the Olympus 7 to 14, even though they're both roughly seven mils, it would be completely smooth on the Olympus because they know how to work together. Why am I so dark? But if you're careful, just do a little relaxing vlog. It's heavy. I'm vegan. I have no muscles left. But as an owner of both the DJI Action 1 and the GoPro 10, I find myself reaching for the 10. I bring it out more just because it has slightly more dynamic range and just cleaner slow motion it's actually stabilized in 240 frames per second although it doesn't really matter for my bullshit uses running across the street how did i get here you ask idea no I don't have a DVD player but that's a lot of good stuff that's a lot of good stuff oh my god I forgot <laughs> could you even tell the difference at the beginning because I stopped this down all the way to 5.6 oh my goodness do you even know the advantages that lay before you can we even autofocus with manually touches yeah what's up now GoPro 
Not so good looking, are you? A little dark on the cloudy day, are we? Ah, uh, you tiny sensor donkey. So my first purchase would be the GoPro 10 Ulanzi cage, the G95, get the GoPro adapter, a little lav mic. We're back to using the Mic J 044, the original budget lav from <laughs> 1986, because my Sennheiser died. And it's like, ah, oh, I was gonna buy a new one, that Sony with the double tube. It's the only lav mic with a right jack. None of them, they're all straight dickheads pointing into my screen real estate. So we're back to this, even though I have to use a little adapter. This light sounds good enough. So I get that, a lap mic, and the glimmer glass, of course, 52 mil, links down below for everything. My next purchase, however, would be a little more thought provoking. Again, they lapped me. Fitness freaks. You're probably gonna go home and eat bacon and eggs and ruin every piece of work you put in there. The next camera I need for the studio and potentially bringing with me for this type of thing. Sometimes the GoPro is good enough, it's light, it's like, all right, let's just go have a fun day, use this little tiny piece of shit. Sometimes you wanna show off a little cinematic touch in the outdoors. Oh man, I've been debating it. I have nothing now, what would I get? Cause that Sony a7S III, it's hard to beat, but it's hard to afford. It's like a lot of money. Would you really want to do that? I don't know that you would. And like just having that thing, it's a lot of pressure to put out good content in your living room and it's hard. So I don't know. I think I go for something a little more budget friendly, a little more spunk. I was thinking how budget could we go? I was thinking Olympus EM5 Mark III. It's basically this. I just, I'm not sure if you're allowed to do auto ISO in video. There was a hack or something. You had to switch to photo mode, enable it, and then go back into video. But if you could, that thing is even lighter than this. You get a little 12 Meltone 2. You get the lightest setup possible, and you could use that in the studio. It wouldn't blow anybody away, but, huh? Not gonna lie to you. I could use a teddy bear to hug and comfort me with my tiny cameras. I have no cameras left. The house has been burnt down to the ground. Family is safe, by the way. Thanks for asking. You piece of shit. So, EM5 Mark III, could that be it? The studio cam and vlogger? Maybe. It does have the slow-mo, like there's nothing missing from it, I don't think. The battery life might hurt you. So I might spring for the EM1 Mark III for no reason. You get that amazing slow motion that we saw that was beat by the GoPros. Oh man, that hurts. That was 4K 120p versus 1080p. Bullshit. But I could be totally happy with that. 12 mil Tony 2, sometimes indoors, but also I would have to spring eventually for that 25 mil 1.2. Pro lens. Oh my god, we have a scenario. What's up? Ne oh god, that was a four second burst of sun. Ah, oh, that hurts. That hurts hard. We had it. We had the cinema. But the reality is, even though Olympus doesn't seem very high end, the tiny sensor doesn't look like they have much video specs, every time I compare it to anything else, people are like, wow. How did, how'd you do it, Olympus? I don't know how they do it. They lie and cheat. I'm fine with it. But restless hearts be restless this night. And I imagine full frame envy would eventually succumb my thoughts to the dark side. I think I would eventually have to have a full frame camera, but I wouldn't want to go A7S III, even though it's the best camera I've ever had. Fantastic, top of the line. It's too good. It's too, I don't deserve it. I would get, and I ain't joking, Canon EOS R. Done. I got my Yong Nuo 85mm. It did burn in the fire, so I don't have that anymore. That sucks. It was in another room. There's a chance it survived. But if I was to buy lenses for that thing, 16mm tone and 2.8, that might even be good enough for the studio. I doubt it. Just a couple fun shots, huh? why is it so wide? Oh, your arms are long. And then we'd move on to the 50 mil 1.8. Just be done with it. Even though it's a bullshit 43 mil filter says, filter says, 
That's good enough. I could get a step up ring and put a little black pro mist on there. Sea log and then ruin the colors. That would hurt, but I think that would be good enough. You got your GoPro 10 for outside. Do I still have the Olympus? Probably. Olympus and the 12 mil Tony 2. That's a lot of gear. That's three cameras already. Why didn't I think this through? Does anybody want to buy an EOS R? I'm selling it. I've, I've decided against it. Stick with the Olympus. You're good to go. Give Micro Four Thirds a chance. Show them that it's good enough. It is good enough and you're good enough. If you try hard and you believe in yourself, just like that family does, you can make it through anything. The dark times, the good times, you won't be too high on those good times. You don't make fun of people who are on the lower realms and you're good to go. It's funny, no matter what you have, you still want more gear. I still am not able to get over it. I have the Sony a7S III with many great lenses. And I'm still, every day I look through Amazon warehouse deals. I look through Kijiji for overpriced used deals. Things are like $100 off if you buy it through me. <laughs> oh, you believe in that? Fuck you all. I don't know what the cure is, my friend. I need a better hobby. I just bought, like, I make my own music, so I'm thinking maybe I should upgrade some of my music gear. So I bought some new headphones. I got the Bear Dynamics 770 Pros, 250 ohms. Oh, those sound fantastic. So now I gotta give away my Sennheisers. Anybody want them? 380 Pros or something? If you live in Toronto, they're yours. But you really don't need much for you to. Oh my god, I forgot. I would 100% buy the Huawei P40 Pro again, just for the slow-mo. 100%. And that's all I would use it for. Every time I try to vlog with the damn thing, those colors just... It's like the best looking image you could ever have at times, and then it turns into the worst thing you've ever seen in the same video. Just the lighting matters so much. You can have a little backlit in scenarios like, wow, that's a phone? Sign me up. Do you have an affiliate link? And then the next scene you're walking, it's like, what the fuck happened to that? Oh God, oh, cancel that pre-order. It's embarrassing. Halloween's over, dickheads. We don't need a cat, a dead cat with bones. I don't need to see that. Why is that rat eating a human skull? That's too much, you went overboard. There is a book though. The Sun, have you read it? Me neither, and I never will. I am actually thinking of getting the EOS R just for the heck of it, just to have a second thing to compare. Uh, now that the Fuji is sold, although I did offer that guy to return it if he did have buyer's remorse. I feel like he does, so we'll see if he brings it back. Then I might just keep it. Who cares? I'll sell the kit lens, keep the 16 mil, throw it in my closet and never use it again. Maybe one vlog per year. But yeah, the EOS R, why not? Why not? I would, Camera Canada would give me a good deal on it. I basically could trade the Fuji X-T4 for that. That'd be a fun little thing, even though the Fuji kills it in every way. Ah, oh, that's a bad decision. So I'm gonna leave. Who won this battle? GoPro's still going strong, no overheating, even though it's like one degrees out here. That's fine. Olympus never loses, but unless you use a Lao lens, then they always lose, but. I just wanted to see, wide angle, same type of field of view. I'm gonna go now, after you buy a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt, of course. He bought one. It's under his coat. That was a nice cologne. I'm gonna go. Just right after you subscribe. Oh, you reported me again.